Hey up. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking a bit yellow again. Let me turn the music off for everybody. There we go. Music should be done. Taz boy, how's it going? Hey up. This is Paula. This is Paula. <laughs> this is, uh, what's your name in the chat? Vegan Tinkerbell. Yeah. Yeah, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone's doing all right. Yeah, well, I'm looking at the chat. Yeah, sorry, I'm talking to that one, but the chat's over there. <laughs> Let's start. She's going to bully me, bully me all the way through this, I can tell. But she's here because she's going to be the camera person. As you can see, we've got like a, a second camera, which is this one here. This is a, obviously, a, it's a my phone. We're using Droid Cam. To, uh, to do this. I uh, might need to tighten that up a bit. So Paula is going to uh, to be the, uh, the the dual camera person. So that's yours. Marvellous. <laughs> don't do extreme close-ups. You don't want to do extreme close-ups <laughs> on me. Um, if you can't hear me, the, the microphone should be working and we, the microphone lead is extremely long so we can pretty much take it anywhere. So, but if you can't hear me, let us know. We can actually turn the microphone gain up and stuff. <laughs> um, and if you want the other camera window to be bigger, we can do that as well. So let me know if you want to do that. Don't say we, because I can't. Well, I can then. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> I can. I can make the camera bigger. So if you want the camera bigger, we'll do that. Um, what time is it? I don't know what time it is. I need to... See what time it is. We've got 10 minutes left, so we'll wait for any more people coming in before we start. So I know Waleed said he was going to be here, but he doesn't finish work till about 5, I think he said. Uh, you, yes, you should. Should what? Should make the window bigger, do you reckon, Hindu? Because obviously I can't see what it looks like. I've not got a second screen with the stream up. Bro, a bunch of people are coming to watch you. Are they cool? Well, that's alright then. So we'll give them the 10 minutes to come in before we start. Um, but yeah, did you mean to make the window bigger? Because if you want the window bigger, I can do that now. I think, I hope. So let me know if you want the window bigger. Yeah, right, cool. Let me sort that out then. Is that all right? Is that big enough, you reckon? I hope that's all right. And I hope it's not too yellow in here. I have tried to set, the white, uh, to set the white balance on the main camera. Obviously the phone doesn't have a white balance on it. Um, so we can't do anything about the phone. Although, the phone kind of looks a bit better than the, the main camera at the minute. It does. Um, you can go a little smaller. Okay, we'll do it a bit smaller. About that. that Alright. Hope that's good. Um, yeah, I'm hoping the alerts and stuff should be working now as well, so we should be able to hear the alerts. Although, I've got no, the, the only speakers I've got connected to this at the minute are the actual monitor speakers, which are very, very crap. So chances are, I might not hear it. But you guys, if someone does subscribe or follow or whatever, then chances are, hopefully you'll be hearing the alerts, because they weren't working the other day. Uh, yeah, that's good. Cool. Cool. Yeah, you'll have to bear with me if I'm bending over to look at the chat. It's kind of small, and I am quite far away from the monitor. But, um, yeah, fingers crossed. Paula's going to read out the chat anyway, if she needs to. If I miss anything, obviously, when I'm cooking and chopping things. So she'll be reading the chat out, if I miss it. So, cool, I have... Um, I've got Stream Deck on this one, on the tablet as well. So I can hopefully control the stream from the tablet. Um, apparently my mother is going to be joining us as well, although she hasn't got a clue how to use Twitch. She asked me on Facebook, how do I do Twitch? And I said, like, just click on the link and it works. <laughs> but it's my mother, old people in technology. To be fair, she's probably in the chat now, listening to me slag her off. I'm sorry, Mum, if you are. <laughs> I want to do this one day. Yeah, you should, Hindu. You should. It'd be cool. It would be cool. But we are cooking today. 
a dish from uh, a recipe book. Well, tell, well, it's based on a recipe from a group of people called Bosch. They are two guys from Sheffield who started doing uh, vegan cooking and they've done hundreds of books, well not hundreds, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but they've got a load of cookbooks out, they've got a TV show over here in the UK, um, they've done all sorts of stuff. They've got a YouTube channel too. Rain, Rain, hey, Rain Rain's in the chat. Yeah, they've got a YouTube channel. Um, in fact, hold, stay there, I've got one of their books, I'll go and fetch it and show you. Uh, this is their Healthy Vegan book. You can see that there. This is their Healthy Vegan book. Hey, Rain! Rain! Oh, you're not a subscriber, are you? But the, the emote works. The emote's in the chat now. Can someone who's a subscriber just put the emote in the chat so that Rain can see it working? Because it was Rain that obviously designed the emote. So yeah, cool. The, the emote works, Rain. So that's pretty funky. Um, Alright, I need somewhere to put this book now. Back in a sec. Oh. <laughs> Just made a frittata. Yeah, I can see it there, but I can't use it. Yeah, you're not a subscriber, are you? Ian? Ask your mum to send me a fiver. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the, the recipe we're going to cook is called Nice Spice Rice. It's from their first book. It's not from that book, it's from their first book that they released. But this is my take on that recipe. Um, we cooked that recipe, one of the first ones we did when we were vegan. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we, uh, we liked it and we decided to. Uh, well, I've sort of evolved it really, Anta, ever since, ever since we've done it, ever since we've done it. So this is like my version of their recipe. So if you want to see the actual original recipe, I don't know if it's on their YouTube channel or not. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but it's in in their book. If you want their, if you want to have a look at their book, it's just called Bosch. The book's just called Bosch. Um, if you use exclamation mark recipe in the chat. It should come up with all the ingredients that you need. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so, if somebody wants to try exclamation mark recipe in the chat, it should the the chat box should come up with everything. <clears throat> um, there you go. Oh, there's no spaces in between it, <laughs> but, but it kind of works. You can tell from where it is where it is from there. <laughs> But yeah, that kind of works. I, uh, I actually meant to rename the Stream Elements bot to Vegan Bot, but I forgot before we started. Because you can rename the Stream Elements bot. And I forgot to do it. But it's, it's still called Stream Elements. But there we go. Um, what time is it? Still three minutes before we start, so just to let any stragglers come in. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I hope everyone's had a good day. My feet are killing me. We've been for a walk this afternoon. And my feet are absolutely killing me. So yeah, it's going to be a struggle for me to stand up while making this today. She's making strange faces at me now. Well, it'd be our idea to go for a walk. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> She's blaming me now. Um, so yeah, um, if you've got any questions while we're going along, obviously ask the questions. I'm going to chuck this carry bag in here. Um, if anybody's got any questions as we go along, feel free to ask. I will answer. And it can be about anything. It doesn't have to be about the recipe. It can be about, you know, why I turned vegan or whatever. It can be anything. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll answer them. And if I can't answer them, Paul will Google them. So, so oh, we'll just make up an answer, one of the two. <laughs> well, Eid, how's it going, mate? How are you? Hope oh, you're all right. 
working home, cool. Well, we're not starting yet anyway, we're going to give everybody time to go in. So, so yeah. I've been properly in about five. Cool, all right, well, we'll give it five minutes then. And we'll, uh, and we'll start. <clears throat> Your phone's annoying me, it keeps turning off. Apparently my phone is annoying. Can I? Right, give me a second, let me see if there's a way I can get it to stay on. I don't know if you can anymore with Android. Can you, is there a setting to keep the, the screen on on Android phones? I don't know if there is or not. Display... Advanced screen timeout. No, thirty minutes is the the longest. I'm afraid the screen timeout. So it is probably just going to annoy you. Sorry. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> uh, I downloaded Prism for that. Prism, yeah, Prism does. Prism's uh, the the actual IRL. Thing, IRL, well, the streaming app, isn't it? But I did, because I, I was, I did think maybe I could use Prism for this. But I'd much rather have the computer set up in the corner and do it this way. It's so much easier. I can see the chat. Well, I can, obviously, I can kind of see the chat. And then we can have multiple camera angles. Bless you. Thank you. Um, and if I wanted to, I could even have had a third camera. I've got a, another camera that I could have set up. I could have added another droid cam on my tablet, but obviously my tablet's running stream deck at the minute, so I can't do that. But I do have a third webcam I could set up somewhere and have like a third third view, but we've decided not to. You just turn the app on and don't, don't actually... Oh, don't you? You can use its camera and it stays on always since it's an app. Ah, fair enough. I might have to give it a go, check it out, see what it's like. But yeah, it's just because obviously Paul, the, I mean, to be fair, the app will stay on, the camera will stay on, the camera won't mm -hmm. go off, it's just the front screen. Um, and the front screen goes off after the 30 minutes timeout delay. It's obviously to save battery, but if Paula can't see what she's pointing the camera at, God knows what you're going to watch on the stream. <laughs> she could point it anywhere. <laughs> Uh, you just turn the app on, but nicely super. Ah, cool. Fair enough. <clears throat> so yeah, so um, we'll wait for Willie to say whether he's home or not. Give him a chance to get a cup of tea and sit and make himself comfortable, and then we'll start, shall we? Um, it is a pretty straightforward recipe to do. The chopping and the preparation of the veg and everything is the the longest part of it. Um. Or well, the hardest part, should I say? <clears throat> but we'll um, let me get the pans out that we need as well. There we go. I'm going to be using it's like a big wok frame pan type thing. Best Christmas pan that's ever. Yeah, my mum bought me this for Christmas. Was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. I think it was last year. Was it last year? Yeah, I think it was last year. And it's been the best Christmas present I've ever had. This pan is brilliant. And then obviously we need just a saucepan, small saucepan just for cooking the rice. So that's there. <clears throat> Everything else we've got pretty much out as and when we need it. It's all sort of scattered about here. Do you want to pan round so you can show everybody everything? There we go, the colours. All the everything we need is there. We've got Soy sauce and all the <laughs> all the uh, spices over there. So yeah, oh, just worked on the kettle. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> so yeah, shall we start? I need a knife. That might help. So we have a knife now. So don't you start giving me lip. I'm armed now. <laughs> well, not anymore, it's over there. You know what I mean? Mm. 
be pulling faces at me. Cool, so yeah, well, let's start. Let's, we'll do some chopping, because the chopping does take ages, so we'll start with the chopping. Um, so the first thing... What takes ages is the pan heating up, so you might want to start that. Right, apparently, to be fair, she's right. We've got a electric hob. Um, what do you call them? <laughs> Hindu? They're not called hobs, are they in America? What are they called? I can't remember what they were called. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the because it's electric, it takes round about half an hour for it to heat up. And I also need to take the microphone off the hob because I don't want to melt the microphone. Stove, that's it, stove. So yeah, so we'll uh, we'll just stick the turn it on, and then hopefully by the time we've done chopping, the pan will be hot. <clears throat> so right, so first thing we'll do is we chop the onion. And I'm pretty sure there's a proper way that you're supposed to chop onions, but I don't know it, so I just I just I just wing it and just chop them as and when as as I want, how I want. <clears throat> Normally, peeling the onions are a pain in the ass as well, but this one's not been too bad today. Look at that. Sorry. going to do as well is I'm going to bring the microphone over here. Right, can you read the chat for me as well? Because obviously I'll not be able to read the chat. <laughs> You're stuck in the corner now. <laughs> yeah, so if anything, if you can read the chat for me. You should be able to zoom, can you zoom in on that camera? No idea. No, we can't zoom in on this camera, so that's, so that's a shame. So yeah, so I'm just going to chop the onion how I normally chop it. It doesn't matter how you chop. Just roughly chop the onions. I'll leave us back with a cup of... Is it cool? Oh, I'm chucking everything out of the floor. That's... This is nothing new. <laughs> there you go. Apparently I took everything over the floor. Well, he does close delivery as arrived. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Walid? Well, right, I'll try not to chuck it over the floor this time. There we go. The onion chopped. Now the recipe does say for one pepper. However, I'm going to be using two because I'm using wonky peppers from Morrison's. Um, Morrison's do like a wonky veg range where they're just imperfect, so they sell them for cheaper. Other supermarkets are available. Well, yeah, other supermarkets are available, by the <laughs> way. But not all other supermarkets have a wonky veg range. <laughs> So, so I'm using two, even though if you were using normal peppers, you would probably just use one. But these are tiny compared to normal peppers, that's why I'm using two. So again, I don't know if there's a proper way of chopping peppers. So I just chop them the way I chop them. <laughs> uh, well, he's um, got jeans and a jumper and also an armband for his phone for when he's running. Cool. Nice one. Um, that Hindu says more peppers, more flavour. More peppers, more flavour. Yeah, possibly. But this stream is not sponsored by Morrison's. No, the stream's not <laughs> sponsored by Morrison's. We are using other supermarket branded products. <laughs> Again, just chop the peppers however you want. They doesn't really matter. Roughly chop them. <clears throat> and the second one now, this one's tiny. If you can see though, this one is an actual tiny pepper. <clears throat> so, well, Eid, how's your day been anyway? You've been at work all day, haven't you? How's it been? That Hindu wants to. 
to know if that's the glass cutting board, which it is. Yes, it is glass. You can probably tell that from the sound. It yeah, is glass. Jane's answered. Yeah, it is. It says chop, slice, grate, shred on it <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> well, Ida and that him do prefer wooden ones. So do I. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Right, fair enough. I'll, I'll nurse you. <laughs> what a criticism about your chopping board. No, 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 I'm not saying it is. But this one, this one, I didn't actually buy this one. When I moved into my previous house in High Green in Sheffield, this was left there by the previous owner of the house. And so I just took it. With her permission. With her permission, yeah, I didn't just steal it. But <laughs> yeah, she, she allowed me to keep the keep Keep it. <laughs> yeah, so don't don't go spread any rumours about me being a thief or anything, because I'm not, right? Seriously. <laughs> right, we've got a courgette. Now, Hindu, these aren't called courgettes in America. They're, is it zucchini? Zucchini? Zucchini. Yeah. So it's a, a courgette in the UK. It's a zucchini in... America. Almost forgot the name of the country though. So we use half a courgette. That Hindu wants you to spell it. A what? Courgette or zucchini? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just putting the other half back in the fridge. Um, and again, I just chop this roughly. There's no, no need to be precise or anything like that. Just chop it into slices. You have to. Do you put which you oil do you put? Oh, you put your coconut oil. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. <clears throat> do you not need to be warming your oil up? It's, we'll do it in a sec. Calm down. <laughs> She's bossing me about already. I'm only asking. <laughs> now, I had a friend once who came and stayed up here and I cooked him this meal however he didn't like onions so instead of using one onion and half a courgette I ended up using two courgettes wouldn't recommend it not very really nice with two courgettes a bit courgette -y. you have to have onions in uh, we're being asked, uh, do you both rotate between cooking or is it normally just one main cook? Yeah, it's normally just me. Normally do, just me. Do it at your house, I cook at my house. Yeah, that's true, you cook at yours, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah it depends on whose house we're at, really. If we're at mine, I cook. If we're at Paula's, Paula cooks. So, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> She's, she's, she's angry at me now, I can tell. So yeah, it all depends on whose house we're at really, whether, who cooks. Um, but it I was... Mean, we always help each other though, don't we? Generally I do help chop things. Yeah, yeah, yeah she does. She does help chop things and, and stuff. Taste test everything. Taste test everything. So yeah, yeah, we do help each other. So it's not a case of one person cooks. We, we, I almost chopped my bloody finger off then. Did you see that? <laughs> I almost chopped my finger off. I wasn't concentrating on chopping. I was too busy talking and not concentrating on chopping. <laughs> oh, I need to do something after this. What did I ask you to remind me when we were in shop? A good job I can remember. We went as we, when we were walking this afternoon. We called off at co-op just to get a few last bits for this um, because I needed some more soy sauce, and we've got other bits and bobs to put in it as well. And I we walked past the bread aisle, and I asked Paula to remind me to stick these burger buns in the freezer, and she forgot. We've got good treats 
chef asking, what are you cooking? Uh, we are cooking a recipe um, that was originally done by Bosch, the guys from Bosch. I don't know if you know them. They are um, two guys from Sheffield. They've got their own YouTube channel. They've done numerous books. They've got a TV show over here in the UK. Um, but this is uh, a dish that they did called Nice Spiced Rice. But this is my version of that dish. This is sort of evolved, an evolved version of that dish. So the basics is what they did, but then I've just added bits and bobs to sort of make it as nice. Make it for us. Yeah, make it as own sort of thing. So that's pretty much what we've done. And the best bit about this as well is, right, you can put anything in it you want. The the recipe in the, the recipe command, um, you can pretty much put anything in it you want. Uh, we've had, I've, we've done it with um, broccoli before, we've done it with all sorts of stuff. I can't think off the top of my head now what we've done it with. Can you? No, I can't remember. No, yeah, but we've done it with all sorts of stuff. Yeah, we you, we, you can just chuck anything you want in it. Whatever's in the fridge that needs using up. Yeah, and it, and it works. There's nothing it doesn't work with. So that's them done. Right, so now let's start with the pan hot. The pan is hot. So, you might want to come round here. We'll move the microphone back round here. Watch your head. There we go. So, pan is hot now, so that's all good. So we're using a tablespoon of coconut oil. Goes into the pan. Um, I need this for later, so let me just wipe it. Need to put kettle on, but rice. Uh, yeah, we'll do that in a sec. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We need to put the kettle on because obviously we're cooking rice, so we need hot water, hot boiling water. Um, my kettle makes a right noise. So just so you're aware that <laughs> if it sounds like we're um, there's all sorts going down off, it's, it's just probably just the kettle. Um, now, as you can probably see from looking at the pan, my floor isn't flat. Um, <laughs> The oil <laughs> runs one way, it tips to one side. It's the one thing I hate about this house. This kitchen isn't flat. It sort of caves in like that. So the cooker is on, on a ton of cardboard to try and make it straight, but it's still not, still not straight. So it's really, really annoying. So into there, we need to add any Alright. I'm going to turn that down a bit as well. And I'm chopping some garlic now. I'm just uh, putting some garlic. Oh, she, wow, she's microphone microphone person as well now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just peeling a bit of garlic. Uh, we use two cloves of garlic for this. hate peeling garlic, it's one of the worst things to do because it always gets stuck. I can never get the damn thing off. So there we are. That wasn't as bad as I thought. So <laughs> nice close up on the garlic. Can you just move that way? There we go. Thank you. Um, so we grate the garlic into the pan. and crap that's getting my eyes <laughs> and then remember to scrape the inside of the grater there you go look you can see the inside of the grater into the pan as well oh, this is way too hard now. Um, right the next thing we do is we need to get a cube a centimetre cube of ginger. So that's about here. And 
there we go, look, centimetre cube of ginger. And again, we grate that into the pan, and the garlic is burnt. Whose idea was it to turn the pan on? It was the idea was it to not top everything first. <clears throat> so there we go, we've grated the ginger now into the pan. That around a bit. The pan was a bit too hot when I put the garlic in, so the garlic has burned a little bit, but look, it smells, still smells right, guys. Nice. And then we add the peppers, the onion, and the courgette into the pan. And then we'll put the pan back onto the heat for this and then we just mix it round and we just wait for these to cook for a little bit. Mm. Oh, good treats chef does cooking classes on Twitch. Oh cool, nice one. Three times a week. Nice one, that's pretty cool. This is the first cooking stream I've done. I generally don't do cooking stream. I'm generally a, a gamer. I do strategy games and role playing games and things like that. This is the first cooking thing I've done. But um, obviously because I'm vegan and people in the chat and stuff know I'm vegan, people have been asking for me to cook something vegan. Um, and I, I was going to do it as a sub goal, but then... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I was going to do it as a sub goal, but then uh, I haven't been streaming for a while, and so the subs have dropped off. And as it's my birthday on Friday, I thought, you know what, let's just do it this week as like a birthday thing. And so yeah, so that's why we're doing it. That is the reason why we are doing it. So yeah, this uh, this might not be the to everyone's tastes but I think this what we're making is great I may not be doing stuff right I may be doing stuff wrong but this is how I do it I'm not a professional cook by any means although I would love to have my own vegan restaurant a problem with that is we live in the north of England nobody's vegan up here we get funny looks if we tell people we're vegan up here don't we <laughs> Uh, yes, that's a good point. That's normally your job. So, I am going to put the kettle on now. So, I'm sorry if this sounds horrendous because my kettle does make a right noise. So while that's doing that, we will chop a leek. We have one leek. Yeah, again, I don't know, I have no idea how, if there's a special way or proper way to cook a leek, I just chop it like this and then just stick it in a pan. And generally, I don't use all of the leek as well. I'll generally leave a bit, a bit left, so we'll get rid of that bit and we'll stick all these in the pan. start the rice cooking. So we've got some basmati rice. We need 120 grams of basmati rice. So just bear with me a minute. I need to get past the parlor because I need the, uh, the weighing scales. So we will sort the scales out. 
and then we will open the bag. Going well. Maniac 08 is here too. Maniac, how's it going, dude? Hope it's alright. Hope you're alright. Um, we are cooking, for those of you who have just turned up, we are cooking a. Oh no, I've put something in there that I shouldn't have done. There we go. Oh. <laughs> what went in there? That's the end of the week. Oh! <laughs> and I'm chucking it over the floor. Sorry, I'm picking stuff up off the floor that we've dropped so far. Uh, you. That I've dropped so far all over the floor. <clears throat> right, the kettle's boiled, so we will now put the That was somebody subscribing. Uh, Kilo, thank you for the, uh, the subscription, dude. <laughs> yeah, we can kind of half hear the alerts, but the uh, the speakers are on the monitor and they're not very good. So we kind of kind of half heard the alert there. <laughs> Alright, so that's the rice on to cook. Maniac is asking what's on the menu. Uh, we are cooking a uh, nice spiced rice, Maniac. It's a dish from uh, my, my adaptation of a dish from uh, two guys from Sheffield who call themselves Bosch. They've done a few cookbooks and they've got a TV program over here in the UK. If you type exclamation mark recipe into the chat, it will come up with the recipe, or the ingredients for the recipe. Um, and if you do want to try this at a future, I will be uploading this to YouTube. This, this uh, stream will be being uploaded to YouTube. So you'll be able to, uh, to watch it on my YouTube channel. <coughs> Um, oh yeah, the uh, the human sushi emote is, is live as well, so you can now use the human sushi emote. <laughs> I need to turn it up a little bit now. Kilo wants to know who's filming. Who's filming? It's Paula. Come back. Come stand, come stand in front of the camera. She's I'm, camera shy. I'm good here. She's camera shy. Come on. Come on. Come, come and say hello. This is Paula. Hello. <laughs> she's vegan Tinkerbell from the chat. Uh, although she generally just lurks. She hardly says anything. But yeah, she's got the... Uh, she'll be using Droid Cam. So that's my phone on there with the camera. So she drops it in the pan. It's my phone that, that goes. <laughs> um, it was Paula's idea for us to actually go vegan. It was Paula's idea because uh, when I first met Paula, four years ago now, four yeah. years ago, I was a uh, 
carnivore, I still ate meat, I still drank milk. I hated eggs, I've always hated eggs, so I've never eaten eggs. Um, but I ate cheese, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Paul has been vegetarian from this egg, <laughs> pretty much. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. From, from being about 15. 15? Yeah. So yeah, when I first met Paula, she was vegetarian. And um, yeah, obviously we were cooking meals for each other and stuff. And it just made sense that I'd cook stuff, something vegetarian. So I went vegetarian. Um, because, like, cause, yeah, to be fair, it was it's nicer being vegetarian. We were going out to restaurants and I was ordering like a burger and Paula was ordering all sorts of food that looked right nice. You had food envy, didn't you? Yeah, food envy. That's what we call it. So, yeah, so uh, she, because of her, I sort of went vegetarian. And then you were talking about going vegan, weren't you? And do you want to tell the story? No, she doesn't want to tell the story. She's shy. Um, but yeah, she was on about going vegan, and to be quite honest, I'd never thought about it. But I thought, oh, okay, let's uh, let's have a look at that then. And I googled it and looked into it and stuff, and I saw a uh, Dominion. I saw a, a, a documentary called Dominion. I thought, yeah, I need to do that. I need to go vegan. So two years ago now, it will be two years. It'll be two years in January. Two years in January, we did Veganuary. Yeah. And yeah, instead of just doing it for the month, we carried it on, and we've been vegan. We'll be we'll have been vegan for two years come January now. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much why we became vegan, and we have been ever since. And we've never looked back. To be fair, I've never felt healthier. I may not look it. This is lockdown weight, <laughs> but I've never felt healthier. <laughs> um, but yeah, I. I uh, I've never felt healthier. I did lose a lot of weight when I first went vegan and I was still going to the gym and everything. I did lose a hell of a lot of weight. But obviously since lockdown, there's been no, I've not been to the gym since February because of lockdown. And so yeah, I, I think I've put a lot of weight back on. But hopefully, it'll go again soon. Um, so yeah, I, I, yeah it's, it's been one of the best decisions I think that we've ever made. Do you miss meat? Do I miss meat? No, I don't. Kilo was asking. No, Kilo, I don't. I've, I've, I, I, I don't miss meat. And the reason I don't miss meat is because pretty much anything you can make with meat in, I think, is better without meat in. And we can still have burgers, we still have stuff like that. Um, the smell of bacon actually now makes me sick. Uh, that's something that's rather strange. I never thought I'd say that. But the smell of bacon actually makes me sick. Um, I've been to my mother's, and she's been cooking bacon sandwiches, and it's just made me feel horrible. It's really not nice at all. Um, so no, I don't. I don't miss it. You know, there's, there's, you know, if <coughs> for those of you who like your junk food, there's plenty of vegan junk food. There's tons of it out there. We have it. You know, we get vegan pizzas, we get vegan burgers, um, vegan sausages. Vegan ice cream. Yeah, vegan, vegan ice cream. Vegan you, cookies, yeah. vegan sweeties. Yeah, you do. You can get pretty much vegan all sorts of stuff these days. Just so, yeah. Eliminating the animal cruelty. <laughs> you went sugar free to be with. Yes, Rain, we did. We did go sugar free first. We went sugar free first. Um, I can't remember, the, why did we go sugar free? There was a reason why I went sugar free. Was it just to lose weight again? I can't remember. Um, it was somebody that you were following that went sugar free for a year and he lost loads and loads of weight. Yeah, something like that. I can't so really remember. you decided to go sugar free. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember who it was now. But yeah, yeah, I did. We did go sugar free first. Um, well, I think we went. I think you went sugar free and vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then you went vegan. Yeah. Do you eat a lot of meat replacement meals such as soy, corn, corn etc.? Um. Well, yeah, because we have yeah. sausages and burgers. Yeah, and we have burgers. We have kebab. sausages. We have shawarma kebab. Uh, we do have, we do like make gay bolognese with mince and stuff. 
Um, but if, we, if we're making a curry or a chilli, we don't have anything meat replacements in that. We make chilies with uh, beans and chickpeas and jackfruit and all that sort of stuff. And curries we just have with, uh, with vegetables. You can't beat a vegetable curry in my, in my, my opinion. Or a chilli. I made a chilli the other day and I made a huge pan of it. I've had to freeze some of it because I had it for three days in a row and there were still tons of it left. <laughs> beans and chickpeas, yep, yep, beans and chickpeas are great. And for those of you who've not, I'm going to show you this because not a lot of people, every time I, I've, I've spoken to uh, people at work about jackfruit and they've never heard of it before. But for those of you who've never heard of about jackfruit, it's in a can from Tesco and it costs about 85p, something like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's got, you can, the texture of it is like pulled pork. You can pull it apart with fork, with, with two forks, and it's like pulled pork. And it's, it's really, really nice. You make some sort of barbecue sauce, put it in a barbecue sauce, and then have it on a sandwich or something like that. You can put it on uh, pizzas. We have it in a chili. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. You can have it in a curry. It's very versatile. It is, and it's, uh, it's really, really nice. Oh yeah, we're fans of hummus, well either. Yes, yeah, we do like hummus. Well never heard of jackfruit until today. Yeah. As a, now, I heard a story about jackfruit and how it was found. Now, I don't know if this is true, um, but jackfruit was a product of India. Or is a product of India, from what I'm not even aware. <laughs> and, um, they had tons of it just lying about on the street and they were chucking it in the bin because they didn't know what to do with it. And then some guy came along and decided to try and cook with it and eat it. And apparently he's now a multi-millionaire somewhere in India because it's all took off. It's obviously a fruit. It has the texture of pulled pork. <coughs> and he's now some sort of multi-millionaire because he sells it to everybody. Uh, how true that is, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I heard about jackfruit and how it, how it took off and how it came about <coughs> it was, they, were, they were pretty much just chucking it away in India because it was just lying on the streets it had fallen from the trees or the bushes or whatever um, that and that's how it's done that Hindu says he's tried jackfruit and it isn't for him it, I, I wouldn't say and Kilo says kind of sweet like mango is, is jackfruit? there another mm. kind of jackfruit? I don't know, I've never Never seen a sweet mango jackfruit before. I think it depends on how you cook it. I think it might depend on how you cook the jackfruit. I think jackfruit is one of those things like tofu. It takes the flavour of whatever you cook it in. So if you're cooking it in a chilli, it'll take the chilli flavour. If you're cooking it in a sweet sauce, it'll take the sweet sauce. Um, it's a bit like tofu in that regard, I think. <clears throat> right, so this is pretty much all now... So I'm just going to reduce the heat again, and we are going to add in here some cashew nuts. <coughs> to be fair, I probably should have added these before the other stuff, but never mind. And we just take a handful of this, handful of cashew nuts, or you can add as many or as little as you want, and you just stick them in. That'll do for us. And we just mix this up. What's going up in the chat? Still on about jackfruit. No. That Hindu to saying people use it as a replacement for pork in some dishes, which yeah they do. Yeah, they do. It's it is, does, does have the for texture that. for pork, and it, like I say, you can pull it apart with pork, so it's like pulled pork as well. It is. It's really, really nice. My leader is asking, is this <coughs> one of your signature dishes? Um, probably. If 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 I knew there was somebody who isn't vegan coming to my house for tea, this is probably what I'd cook with, because I don't think anybody. I know anybody who wouldn't like this. 
Even my friend that came up, who doesn't like onions, when I did it with old courgettes, he enjoyed it, and I didn't think he would, but he, he enjoyed it, even with old courgettes. Um, Unless you don't like peanut butter, then you probably won't like it. Yeah, if you don't like peanut butter, you probably won't like it. And you'll come to see why in a bit, but we do use peanut butter in this dish. <coughs> Right, so the next thing we put in are peas and sweet corn. So again, you can put as many of these in as you want. I generally just put a handful. And these are frozen peas and frozen sweet corn. So just put a handful of peas. And a handful of sweet corn. Uh, that Hindu is asking, is vegan cheddar cheese sharp? And Good Treats Chef says, guys, do you like dried fruits? Um, is vegan cheese what? Sharp. sharp. Um, I don't know. Is it sharp tasting? Yeah, do you, yeah, do you mean is it, does it taste sharp? Um, because I don't really know. Um, to be fair, we don't eat a lot of cheese. We even vegan cheese. We don't eat a lot of cheese. That's one of the things that it really didn't bother me about not being able to eat again. And I know a lot of people like you, Hindu. I know you love your cheese, and it might be an issue for you if you ever went vegan to uh, to not eat cheese again. But for me, it wasn't. live without it. Although we have found a very nice cream cheese recently. Yeah, I'm just going to show you now actually. We have, and these are from a company called Violife. Uh, this is their grated cheese, or grated, um, it's not really cheese, it doesn't even say cheese on the on the thing. It just says it's, it's uh, grated. <laughs> It's their grated stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is their kind of cream cheese replacement. And this stuff is really, really nice. So yeah, if you, if you, I don't know if you have via life stuff in the US Hindu, but for anybody who's in the UK, if you want to search out via life, they do all sorts of different types of cheeses as well. They do blue cheeses and all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, the uh, the cream cheese especially is really, really nice. I'm just going to put a few things away that we don't need anymore. Um, I'm sure there was something else we could add to this. Yeah. Maple syrup. Yeah, but not yet. No. <clears throat> right, so the rice is pretty much cooked now, so let's leave that in there. Turn the heat off that. Leave that in there. Right, so now we need to add soy sauce into this. Oh, I can't open the damn thing. There we go. <laughs> Now depending on how much you make depends on how much soy sauce you put in. So I've put I think two to three tablespoons in the recipe. Uh, so we'll start off with two. See if we can get away with using two. But I think for the amount we're going to use we're going to be needing maybe three, maybe even four. Let's just give that a stir. The rice is done, I've turned it off. I've turned it off. Yeah. So. Uh, this is dark soy sauce. This is co-ops. So there you go, look, there is other supermarkets available. This is co-ops, dark soy sauce. You can use light soy sauce, I don't think it makes any difference. Whatever you use. <coughs> but I've always used dark for this. 
Um, so yeah, let's just give that a mix. And the next thing that we put in is maple syrup. <clears throat> and this is, I think this is Aldi's maple yeah, syrup, Canadian that. maple syrup, pure Canadian maple syrup. So 100% pure maple syrup. If you are buying maple syrup, make sure you don't get the maple flavoured stuff. Because the maple flavoured stuff is just crap. <laughs> make sure you get 100% maple syrup. Uh, so we have two tablespoons of this. Making that Hindu hungry. <laughs> making me hungry, Hindu. <laughs> Difference um, is, I get to eat this afterwards. And um, Good Treats Chef wants to know: Is there anything you don't like from vegetarian food? Uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms are probably the only thing that I don't like that I've tried. I mean, the stuff that I haven't tried yet, so I don't know whether I like them or not. But from the things that I've tried, mushrooms is the only thing that I don't like. Which is a shame because Paula loves mushrooms. Right? I do like yeah, she does. She loves mushrooms. But yeah, mushrooms are the only thing that um, that I don't really like. <clears throat> right. So now, once we get get it to here, oh, uh, right, doesn't matter. Um, this is where we start adding the spices, and this is how we make it spicy. So we add. Um, Garam Masala first, this is Tesco's Garam Masala. So there we go, that's three supermarkets we are promoting now in this stream. And we add... We add one teaspoon, this is one teaspoon. I don't know if you can see the actual teaspoon lettering on there. Are we going to zoom in? Camera. But there, it does say one teaspoon on there. So we have one teaspoon of garam masala. <laughs> you giggly that. Um, while either doing mushroom jokes. Fair enough. <laughs> we have one teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, Cumin was the other one that I needed. I could, when I was getting these out yeah, like earlier, I couldn't remember what the other, what the fourth spice is that I had to it. And now, where is it? Here. Now I've just remembered and I can't get it out. Oh God. Uh, and this is cumin powder. There you go. So we had a tablespoon of cumin. No, not a tablespoon, teaspoon, sorry, don't add a tablespoon. <laughs> Can I have a tablespoon if you like cumin, but no, don't add a tablespoon. <laughs> a teaspoon. <laughs> I know what I mean, even if you guys don't. So we'll mix all this up. <clears throat> and then we control the heat using crushed chilies. Now you can put fresh chilies in here if you want to. Um, I haven't done uh, see, because of, of controlling spice levels of how spicy you want it. Um, we're going to be using Tesco's crushed chilies today. There we go, look, more Tesco stuff. But, you, oh, we, 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 we almost got a full set. We can use as does chipotle flakes. <laughs> but they are, as it says there, they are very hot. So depending on how spicy you want it, you can use as does chipotle flakes. Or we can use, now this isn't a supermarket brand, but this is Schwarz's Cayenne Chili Pepper. <clears throat> so depending on how spicy you want it, depends on what you want to use. Um, but obviously you can just make it spicy by adding lots of whatever it is you're adding. Now, what I normally do... I think this should be half. Yeah, we've got half a teaspoon here. I add half a teaspoon 
of crushed chili flakes. And then we mix that up and then we just taste it. See if it's spicy enough. If not, we add more. If it's too spicy, then you're screwed. You have to start again. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> a half a teaspoon of chili shouldn't be that spicy, in theory. It's come worse since that's been cut. We do, yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a supermarket whore, we'll leave. I have no, no loyalty. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to give this a little taste. Just see if it needs anything more. Mm. Oh, I could eat that like that. <laughs> I could, ooh, oh, that's, that's quite spicy as well. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try some? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. What do you think? Mmm, we have answer That's nice, cool. Oh, we, we, uh, you burnt your rice. No, the rice is fine. The rice is fine. So, we are nearing the end of this now. This is where we use the peanut butter. So this is Meridian smooth peanut butter. And the important thing about this is that it is 100% nuts. There's nothing else in it apart from nuts. Yeah, we love smoked paprika too, well you do. Yeah, we smoked paprika. Yeah, we? we do. Smoked paprika. Paprika is right nice. <clears throat> yeah. So we put two, one tablespoon in. And I'm gonna have to use my finger to get this out. And again, depending on how much you've made and how much soy sauce and maple syrup you've put in, depends on how much of this you will need to use. We're going to put another tablespoon in. And then we give it a bit of a mix. And this is where it should, should all start to clump together. And there we go. It looks like we could do with another. Oh, oh it's got a new follower. Yeah, uh, good treat, Chef is following you. Thank you, thank you for the follow, my friend. And so we will put another tablespoon in here of the peanut butter. And I've got it all over my fingers now. Hmm. And all over the floor. And all over the floor. Well, that's not you, is it? <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that is about it for the peanut butter. Right, two last things spinach and the rice. The spinach, just grab a handful, stick it in. As much or as little as you want. So that's it for the spinach. Oh, we've got spinach all over the floor. You can use kale for this if you prefer kale. Um, you can use whatever you want really for this bit. You can stick anything else in. <clears throat> but we've got baby spinach. This is Co-op's baby spinach. Just so you're aware. And if we just leave that, the leaves will eventually soften and just fold straight into the uh, the mixture. Right. And then we need to start the rice out, so I need to get to that cupboard. Thank you. So I need to get this. I need to put the kettle on again, so sorry for the noise of the kettle, but I do need to put the kettle on again. Now I need to get to the sink. Again, 
ticking bits up off the floor. So I'm just going to rinse the rice with the hot water in the colander. And then we will add the rice to here. Just mix it in and we chuck it all over the, the, the stove. See, I remembered Hindu stove. That Hindu says it looks delicious. It is. It's going to be right nice. And that's it. It's pretty much done now. <clears throat> now the best way to eat this, I'm going to turn the heat off. Don't need to be eating for dinner. The best way to eat this, <coughs> chucking them over the floor. You have coconut bowls. We have two coconut bowls. These are obviously made from two halves of coconut. Now, I don't think it's the same coconut, otherwise it'd be a rather strange shape of a coconut. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> I just stick them over there while I tidy a few things up over here. Yeah. Stick all these sauces and the, the spices back away. Hey, good catch. Good catch. Side down a minute, oh, peanut butter everywhere. That. So, yeah, we will then serve this up. Not a few? Yeah, for now. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure, I'll be back for more. Make sure I don't spin off. And you eat it with a spoon. No faffing about with knives and forks. Eat it with a spoon, and that's everything. That's done. You can come out of the way now. Yes, you come out of the way. <laughs> so I can see the chat. <laughs> you can put that down now, and you can eat your tea. Yay! <laughs> you want to turn it off? Or something? Oh. Get that. Hang on. Right, let's just put this. On there. there you go. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so there we go. We get to uh, to eat this tea now. Mm. I hope you. I can't see the chat with the oven over there. Hang on a sec. Nice Hmm. Hmm. This is right nice. It's got just the right amount of spice in it that leaves you an aftertaste in your mouth. You can taste the spinach, you can taste the onions, you can taste the sweet corn, the peas, the courgette, the peanut butter, the maple syrup. It's, it's lovely. It's really, really nice. Taste from 1 to 10, what would you give it? A 9. 9? 
Not quite as good as my tagine. Mm. Yeah, Polo does a tagine that's really good. Um, mm. <clears throat> I think I'd give it a nine as well, probably. It's not the best one of these that I've made. I've made better than this um, before. But I think it all depends on what you put in it and what spices you add to it and things like that. I've made ones that are way spicier than this. I've made ones that are with no spice in it. Um, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. This is nice. Mm. This is lovely. But it's not the best one I've made, I don't think, no. in my opinion. I don't know why. You don't know why? I don't think there's enough peanut butter in it. No, enough peanut butter. I don't know. It's delicious, though. Mm. It's lovely. <clears throat> so, yeah, if there's anybody else got any other questions or anything like that, then we will ask. Uh, I'm going to show you what we've got for, for dessert. Hang a second. Where are you going? Don't leave me on camera. I'm going to entertain everybody. Oh, I'm eating my food. I might wander off. <laughs> For those of you who think that vegans can't eat chocolate and cookies and things like that, we have some vegan chocolate chip cookies. These are for our dessert. They are yummy. They are really, really nice. They are from Aldi. So that's another another supermarket. Have we said Aldi today? We haven't mm. said Aldi today. So they're from Aldi. And they're not very expensive either. And they're really, really nice. They are, you know. So is that it? We're just going to stand here while people watch us eat? Mm. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, <clears throat> Aldi's number one, I shut that for my grocery. Aldi's good. Aldi's alright, yeah. Aldi's not bad. The problem I have with Aldi is it's just a nightmare sometimes. It's way too busy. There's way too many people on the line. The shopping, the guys, the or the people that do the, um, you know, the checkout people, they don't give a crap. They just chuck your stuff. They, once it's scanned, they chuck it everywhere. Um, yeah. And it's, it's just unorganized. It's an unorganized mess, is Aldi. But they sell some really good stuff. That's my uh, my explanation of Aldi. It's an unorganised mess that sells some really good stuff. They bag all your. They're not allowed to do that to us over here. They're over here, they're told to get everybody through the checkout as quickly as possible, so they don't bag it. Over here, they have a separate shelf just after the checkout, where you're supposed to take your shopping and bag it yourself. That's what you're supposed to do in Aldi's over here. You're supposed to take it out of the supermarket, put it on the conveyor belt thing, take it out of the supermarket, take it out of the shopping trolley, put it on the conveyor belt thing, as they scan it, you just put it back in your trolley. And then you take your trolley to one of these shelves and you bag it there. Yeah, well he's right, it's all about efficiency. It is all about efficiency. <laughs> yeah, Aldi's not the place to go if you want customer service. Not at all. <laughs> mm, I'm having some more. Get some more She's going seconds already.
<clears throat> so um so yeah I've got some questions for you guys now what did you think of the stream is the setup good can you see everything with the cameras and the the lights and everything I know the main camera is a bit yellow which is a bit strange because I actually did the white balancing on the main camera before we even started the stream um, and this one looks more yellow than the, the phone camera which is a bit strange um, would you be interested in seeing something like this again? If I did another one, where we did some more cooking, would you be interested in seeing something like this again? <clears> the <throat> only suggestion I have is that you should try it next is big food camera and small room camera. Yeah, we could have done that. Yeah, we could have made it like that, maybe. But... I don't know, my, cam my, my kitchen's tiny, so all you get is like a massive, massive close-up of a pan. Um, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't know either way, but we, we could try it. We could try it. So the other thing about having the big camera, or having the main camera as a close-up of the food, would be we would have to, oh, I don't know, I mean we could just use the phone I suppose. The, um, obviously the main camera is the best camera, obviously this is, you can see it there. That is the Sony A5100, it's a better camera than obviously my phone. So. <clears throat> that's the reason why I thought I have that one there steady, uh, you know, static, and so you could see everything going on pretty much. Mac dropped the video just now. Um, don't know who Harry Mac is, and did he pick it up again? Never picked it up again. <clears throat> My feet kill me, by the way. Absolutely kill me. <laughs> It's the first work you've done in about a month. Yeah, possibly. <clears throat> possibly. You literally don't leave the house. No. Nope. <clears throat> it was, so, yeah. It was three and a half miles. It was. It was two and a half miles. <clears throat> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, um, if you're not already a follower, please drop a follow. It's so much they appreciate it. We are going to end the stream now because I've pretty much finished my lunch now. And I might get seconds, I don't know yet, we'll have to see. Uh, and I need to sit down, my feet are absolutely killing me. That's why I need to go and sit down. But yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this today, please drop me a follow. Um, I might do another one. I don't know when it'll be. I might do another one at some point soon. I um, don't know what we'll make, but I'll, I'll think of something. I'll find something out. Um, if you want to, to see the steps back again, or see this, you know, uh, back again, so you can see the, the recipes and everything or whatever, um, I will upload it to YouTube uh, probably tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see if there's anybody we can raid at the minute. But I don't know if there's anybody on now. But let me just check. <clears throat> um, no, there is nobody actually I know who is online on, uh, on Twitch at the moment. So, I'll not raid anybody. Uh, I don't really know who to look for and I can't really be bothered to look for it. Anyway, I need to go and sit down. My feet are killing me. Um, 
But yeah, hope you enjoyed everything. I need to now go and do the pops, obviously. Or I'll let Polly do the pops. Good idea then. Polly do the pops. <laughs> Just look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, good night guys, see you later, I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed it and I shall speak to you again soon, bye bye.